Hello boys and girls, guess what? It's math time and we are so happy to have you here joining us today. Today, you are going to be learning something new. So guess what you're going to be doing? You're going to be sitting back, relax, but remember to put on your thinking caps. So join me as we learn something new. Do you think people enjoy eating chocolate ice cream or strawberry ice cream or even vanilla ice cream? How do you think we can come about with getting this information? Yes, we could ask our friends, we could ask our family members, we could even go on the street and ask anybody. But what would we do with all this information? After asking so many persons, we would have a lot of information. But don't worry. Today, we're going to be learning how to create a pictograph, how to interpret a pictograph, and how to make information gathered a little bit clearer. Seeing that you already know the different parts of a pictograph, we can quickly run over the different parts. Do you remember the number of parts? I heard you, yes, it's four. We have the key, we have the title, we have the labels, and of course, we have our symbols. Now today, with some information that we're going to be gathering, we're going to be using those different parts and we're going to be putting information so that we can represent what we have on the pictogram. Okay, I want you boys and girls to help me with this scenario. Miss Brown is having a class party for her children. She wants to decide on the favorite ice cream of her students. But after gathering all the information, she now realizes that she has four ice cream that is loved by many of her children. What do you think Miss Brownie will do now? She will have to get all those ice creams for her children. Now, her first ice cream that she sees that most of her children enjoy is chocolate. Yes, I saw your face. I know you enjoy having chocolate. Now, Miss Brown has a decision to make. Ms. Brown found out that in her class, there are six persons who enjoy eating chocolate ice cream. There are 10 persons who enjoy eating pistachio ice cream. There are four persons who enjoy eating cookie and cream. And there are 12 persons who enjoy eating orange pineapple. Where would you have your vote if you were in this class? Now, today we're going to assist Ms. Brown as we create a pictograph using this information. Now, boys and girls, we are going to be creating our pictograph with the information that Miss Brown has gathered. Now, a special part in the pictograph tells us that we use pictures to represent our symbols. Now, our key is what tells us exactly what each symbol represents. And so, in this case, we're going to be using one cone for two persons. Now, seeing that Miss Brown has six persons who enjoy eating chocolate ice cream, how many cones would we need to represent six persons? Did you say three? Yes, you are correct. We would only need three cones to represent six persons, seeing that our key tells us that each cone represents two persons. What about cookie and cream? How many cookie and cream would you need? Two, yes, you are so right. What about the other flavors? Pistachio, 10 persons. How many cones would we need? Five cones, excellent. Now, Miss Brown has only 12 children who enjoys orange pineapple. So how many cones would we need to represent these 12 children? Yes, you are correct. We need six cones to represent 12 children. Ms. Brown has all this information and she has to put in a title. What's the best title do you think we could give this pictograph? Aha! Favorite ice cream flavors. Excellent! Now we have all our parts. We have our title, we have our labels, we have our pictures, meaning symbols, and we also have our key. Very good, boys and girls. We have those four parts of our pictograph. Now, boys and girls, seeing that we have just created our pictograph, we're going to be interpreting exactly what's there on our pictograph. So now, on our pictograph, we have chocolate, 
cookie and cream, pistachio, orange, pineapple. What if I ask the question, how many more persons enjoy eating chocolate ice cream than cookie and cream? What would be your answer? How could we solve it? We'd have to look at all the persons who enjoy chocolate ice cream and all the persons who enjoy cookie ice cream. Now, seeing that chocolate is enjoyed by six persons, because remember, each cone represents two. So six persons would enjoy chocolate ice cream and cookie and cream is enjoyed by two and the two gives us four. So six persons and four persons, we know that there are two persons more who enjoy eating chocolate ice cream than cookie and cream. Now, Miss Brown is still bothered with her information. She wants to decide on which of the ice cream flavors that she should get. And so Miss Brown is looking closely. She's looking, boys and girls, let's look together. We see that pistachio has two, 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 and two. 10 persons who enjoy pistachio. But when we look at orange pineapple, we see that there are 12 persons who enjoy eating orange pineapple. Now, which ice cream do you think Miss Brown would have to buy to satisfy all or most of her children? Which of these flavors is enjoyed by most of the children? Yes, you said it, orange pineapple. But what if Miss said, I want to make all my children happy? She looked again and she says, hmm, what is the next to the most favorite ice cream flavor of her children in her class? That would have to be what? Yes, boys and girls, pistachio. So Miss Brown would have to buy pistachio because pistachio has 10 persons who enjoy having that ice cream. Miss Brown would now like to buy two ice cream flavors. Which two do you think she should buy? Yes, pistachio and orange pineapple because most persons enjoy pistachio and orange pineapple. There you have it, boys and girls. We are now able to create our pictograph. But before we go, we are going to be answering a few questions. Okay, boys and girls, we're going to be using the parts of the pictograph that we have looked at today to answer these riddles. Riddle me this and riddle me that. Guess me this riddle or perhaps not. I represent the ice cream flavors. What am I? I am the Labels, very good children. I tell you that each of me tells the value of the pictures. I am the key on the pictograph, very good. I tell you what the pictograph is about. I am the title, excellent. And our last riddle, I am used to represent the data when collected. I am, yes, symbols on the pictograph. And remember boys and girls, the key title, symbols, and labels make up our pictograph. Bye-bye for now.